Hello guys and welcome back to another satisfactory power slug tutorial. Now in today's uh, episode I'll be showing you where all the purple power slugs are in the eastern area of the map. Um, so we're beginning with the far east ones and we're working our way slowly towards the centre of the map. But I will need to do one more video um, covering the purple power slug locations for the centre of the map because um, that's one of the more challenging areas. So this is one of the harder areas compared to the north, south and the west, um, where I would say probably the the west and the north are easier than here. Um, but as you can see on the screen, um, I'll be going through where all the locations are and as these are the purple power slugs, they do require some end game stuff such as the, um, the rifle, definitely the blade runners and the jetpack. Um, lots of concrete is always um, beneficial and for some of these slugs you will actually need an obelisk to get rid of some boulders. Um, I don't actually have the radiation suit now, um, even though it's unlocked I haven't um, actually built one and I've never needed to yet because um, I can just power through with um, burial nuts instead of actually having to you know, protect myself. So I'd recommend you could do that or you could just wait until you get the uh, the radiation suit. Um, I don't know the actual name for that. It's probably a hazmat suit, um, but I've never, as I said, I've never looked into that. Um, so as you can see, I've just been killing some of these. I don't have space for the alien organs, but alien organs actually provide great source of biomass if you're still on biomass burners, um, and they also provide uh, good. I think they're good in medicine. I want to say, but they do have other uses. So at the moment, I'm just in the water section. Now this is one of the harder areas, um, in my opinion, of the eastern section. Um, it's mainly covered in poison, but you also find a lot of the larger um, hostile enemies there, such as the, the rhino things. I don't know the actual name of them, um, but to me they're basically just rhinos um, that are aggressive. And then there's a lot of the spiders. Um, so here, oh, and there's also these, um, I think the crab, I want to say the crab something, like crab beetles, but they're not beetles because um, they fly um, but this is just me fast forwarding it because I don't want to bore you with just me shooting but as you can see the rifle is really good um, in that case this is because it shoots in straight lines um, rather than arcing like the uh, the other gun does uh, but as you can see here I get stuck in a log um, so I don't think you need the chainsaw much you will need it um, but you don't need it much however of course there um, Unless I wanted to restart it, I would have to actually, you know, I'd have to cut myself out. So as you can see, these are the, the rhinos that I'm on about, um, as I said before. Um, so th there's two of these guarding this next power slug, which I showed briefly on the map. And there's also a spider that appeared for a second, but I don't know where that actually went when I go back to get the slug. So the good thing with these is that sometimes when they're weak, they run away. So here, it actually glitches out quite a bit. But that's just chill anyway. So I get the power slug, but as I did a double check, um, dead quick there, because I thought there was a spider still chasing me, but there wasn't. Luckily, so there, um, this is the next location, so I'm showing you this now. It's just under a waterfall. Um, there's quite a few slugs that are designed this way, where they're hidden behind a waterfall. Um, what I do like about these purple power slugs, they do show off a lot of this game, um, and a lot of hidden areas. I know some bits are untextured, but that's still an early access. Um, I'd imagine not many of these places will change, apart from maybe the textures, obviously. Um, but with these purple slugs, or like the yellows and the well, or like the greens anyway, um, you wouldn't expect too many of the bigger mobs. Um, but here, I'm always, you know, wary of uh, if there'll be a spider or anything. So here, I'm just going around the cave, staying around the edge in case the spider suddenly jumps out. Cause I'm only on half health at the moment, but there I can see the spider. Um, and it, you know it chases me down. This is one of the ponds that um, that also shoots out poison, which is another um, you know it's another annoyance for you to have to deal with. Uh, when I when I got rid of this, I was quite quite stressed, so I just shot it again just to make sure. Um, but sometimes I always like to make, uh, but always sometimes I shoot the the uh, mob after again, just in case because sometimes they can appear dead, um, but they're actually still alive. So moving on, we're going up towards, um, well we're going under the cave, this is quite close to the previous one. However there are a lot of those um, enemies that shoot out bolts of um, 
well, the fire or whatever, the, I don't know what they actually shoot out, but the, the things that you have to avoid, the projectiles. So here is the first case, I think you'll really need some Nobelisk, you don't need as much as I put on there. You probably one will do, um, if well placed, but there's a lot of those enemies and I'm trying to be quite conservative with the, uh, the rifle ammo. So here you can see me getting this purple power slug. And then I try and run away from it and I run into two more of those enemies. So I decide the best way is to go back out that way. So then you come right to the edge of the map and you want to climb this huge structure. And um, there is actually a way up somewhere else, but of course, as I said, the jetpack's quite handy, along with a lot of concrete. So when I'm at the finally um when I'm finally at the top, um, we have a nice green area with a load of poison flowers um, and three of the rhino creatures. So what um, happens here unfortunately it auto safe so I try and get myself in a uh, safe spot because I don't want to be die as soon as we spawn in. Then we get this purple power slug. Moving on from here these are some of the easiest slugs in my opinion. Um, as long as you've got something long range. So if you come here, it looks like there's nothing, but actually all the things spawn in and I nearly realised too late. But also what I've realised is when they're under the water, sometimes they get stuck under the water and they don't fly as fast back towards you. Um, so you can actually shoot them off quite easily. But here I just swim and try and go and get the slug. So the reason why you want these slugs is because they provide five power shards which helps boost your batteries. Um, so not only is it helpful for boosting factories, but it also um, when you try and make these huge factories with huge setups and you know a lot of ratios to consider to get like perfect efficiency, you want to use the slugs to uh, to maximise this. Um, so the purples are the, uh, the best way of getting getting plenty of uh, power power shards. Um, the only problem is they are sometimes quite hard to get or require some quite late. Uh, end game stuff to get but you could do this um, with the, the other gun which I've forgotten the name of um, however the other gun still works fine it's just a, a bit harder to aim with and it's a lot slower than this gun but it was also a lot cheaper because it only requires iron rods to um, to shoot with whereas this one requires um, the rifle ammo which you know requires beacons and other stuff So here we have another spider, which is not a surprise at this point, because there's always a spider really protecting um, these purple power slugs. So here I just try and take it out, get a few good shots on it. What I don't understand is, I don't know if these have um, only 10 shots to uh, kill them, or if they require any more, but I think that could be partly down to if I just miss any shots. So here I'm loading um, to throw another Noblis, but I realise I've already cracked away into it and I'm not completionist enough to get rid of all that because then I know Monobelisk supplies can be quite limited. So here I see a little cave, well entrance or exit, um, which actually is just a glitch front of the map. Um, but I thought this was quite interesting to see where all the other caves go, but that, that's all I can really say about that to be honest. You could also use that underground area for fast transport, but of course if the game updates and you can't get to it anymore, I don't know if that would um, affect your world in any way. So here's another interesting area, this is a underground cave, as a lot of these purple power slugs are. And in this example, you um, it's quite a pretty area at first, with a purple glow at the end. Um, but I'd recommend definitely using the Blade Runners for all or most of these purple power slugs, if not the jetpack. If you don't have the jetpack or the uh, Blade Runners, it would um, be quite a challenge. Um, just because the, the spiders can't catch you up I don't think when you have the blade runners. Um, they can when you uh, use the jetpack but you're in the air of course the jetpacks is a bit safer. But if you don't have both, uh, either of them then you're kind of screwed. However some of the slugs you could get just by going up high. Like this is an example. You could actually go in dead quick um, from where I am and just show it on the map. Um, risk getting a bit of poison damage and be able to get this quite early game. But then again, I wouldn't recommend going for these Eastern or the Central when I come to do a Central video um, anytime, you know, when you're beginning the game because 
they're quite hard to get, as I said. Um, whereas the northern ones are a bit easier. So this area is one of the most exposed purple slugs I've seen in quite a while. Um, it was quite easy to get compared to others in terms of all I had to do was kill these. No, no noblest required or anything like that and only one of the big guys protecting it. Um, I know there are the two smaller ones but they're really nothing um, in comparison to the bigger ones. But here we can just get this power slug quite easily which is good because this is could be uh, one of the early slugs you want to get in the game. I've also found from doing these purple power slug videos that yellow slugs can be quite a challenge to get. Now I want to say they give you three um, shards, but they might only give two, I can't remember fully, but I think it's three they give you. Um, so sometimes the yellow slugs can be in just as a difficult place as a, a purple slug. Um, so I might make videos on them, however the purple ones are definitely more worth your time. Um, and there's a lot more yellows actually to get than purple. Um, but I think these are more sought after. But as you can see, concrete quite, uh, concrete plays quite a big role in um, how I get quite a few of these. Um, along with the gas mask. The gas mask is one of the best um, inventions or pieces of tool that you can actually use to um, get these power slugs. If you didn't have the gas mask, you'd have to constantly be eating berries, um, which means you can't have your hands, you know, on Nobelisk to um, to set, you know, to destroy the boulders. Um, which is why I really recommend getting the gas mask, especially for these harder slugs. I think for the green slugs, you could get away with no gas mask, uh, possibly, but the, and maybe the yellows occasionally, but definitely not for the purple ones. So here we are again for another um, cave, surprise surprise, and as you can see, this time there are no spiders, which is um, quite amazing to be honest, because normally there's always a spider, um, but it's one of these big guys along with two of the small ones, the small ones are quite easy to kill, because um, if you don't know, if you have these Xenoblade, I want to call it, um, or De Xenoblade uh, Basher, if you have that, two swipes can kill them, uh, the smaller ones, the big ones have uh, quite a lot of... Um, a lot of hits, but look, I can just blow it up. Um, but as, as you see here, um, I just test to make sure it's dead because I don't want this to suddenly kill me whilst I'm picking up the, the slug. The big guys can um, they can hit you back, which I think does damage just by them hitting you, but then also because you gain a bit of air, you can also lose a bit of um, health to fall damage. Um, so you do actually want to be cautious around them. So here, these um, power slugs I'm about to show you are more the ones for the, the high area. Um, this one's quite easy to get if you've got the jetpack. Um, although I did struggle to get up that because I had to wait for my jump to... Well, the jetpack to reload. Um, but here you can see there's a really good view over the land in a sec. Um, so it makes you... It is, it is quite a beautiful game. Um, there's a lot of really um, pretty graphics in this. And there's a lot of thought that's gone into a lot of these areas. So when you do find the purple power slugs yourself, you do actually get um, a fair bit of enjoyment from just exploring all the different areas. So here we're actually going into the red forest a little bit, which is um, more of the central location, but it's still in the eastern location. So if you're still if you're watching up to this point and you're wondering where the eastern location is, apart from east, obviously. Um, if you look back to one of the other videos, I put a map at the start, um, and you can see how I split it up. Or if you look at the thumbnail, I um, had a little little grid splitting up the world into five different areas. The reason I did this is so it's in more manageable chunks, and also because different spawn locations um, have different slugs around them, obviously. Um, so obviously, if you only want to watch one of them to see which ones are closest to you, then you know that's that's good. So 
So here the next one's quite high up and this is one of the interesting areas because you go from a really high area, um, probably of 200-300 meters to a really low area. But look, uh, this cave's halfway down. So here you will require um, your chainsaw, I believe, to get through. Oh no, there's just so many caves look the same. But but some of them, um, you will require the chainsaw to get through some like uh, some leaves or some uh, some tree roots. So this next one's quite easy, you just drop down from where you previously were, it's right by the oil uh, field and this is actually quite uh, a good one to get apart from it's in a bit of a random location. So at this um, point I go for this because I know the guy can't shoot me through the tree roots um, and then I can just fly away. So I would consider that one quite an easy one to get along with the fact that if you actually place um, oil rigs on there. Um, and provide them power, I believe that the enemies will actually despawn because you've like settled there. So if you want, you could always do that, but I think it's best just to get the blade runs and run in. So this is actually one of the harder ones um, that I found during the east, um, the eastern run. Um, this is because you could get up here legit. Um, just wearing blade runners, but at the top there's all this poison, but there's also three of the um, the rhino like creatures um, Which I wasn't expecting and when you're in poison you can't use your blade runners or your um, Your jetpack so suddenly you become a, an easy target and then as you can see here I get bashed around twice the big one hitting me for two for two chunks and uh, of health and the small one hitting me for one So here I quickly just build away I can see the big ones chasing me, or one of the small ones even, uh, which luckily for me just falls the whole way down. Um, and as you can see, there's a present down there because um, it's just been Christmas and I haven't got uh, Christmas presents. So then I just build up after killing the other two because um, they come to the, uh, the edge of the grass, so I can just shoot them from there. So surprise surprise, yet another cave. Um, this one's quite a pretty cave um, and it seems more fleshed out compared to some of the others. It's a load of roots and it feels like you're parkouring around. You could just do this with blade runners, um, so I don't think you need the jetpack, but I do prefer having the jetpack. It seems we have a massive fuel supply. It's, you know, why wouldn't I use the jetpack? But you can get um, across this legit um, with the blade runners. I think that's how it's designed, intended to be used. So this spider here can't actually kill you on some of these um, points because it can't um, get across unless it jumped and you got unlucky and it made it across. But overall um, like when I was on that piece coming up here um, I just auto save there because um, it was safe to do so because it couldn't get across to me because it just fell back into the, uh, the ravine below it. So this is the last one we're going to get, um, which is in the eastern area, so this is nearby Summer's Loop. Um, so I'm not going for them yet until um, until they're actually implemented into the game properly because it's still a work in progress. So once they're part of the game, then what I plan on doing is doing a tutorial for them. Um, but if they're not very important then I might not, but it's because these are quite crucial to large factories, um, that's why I'm doing a tutorial for these. So this place is quite elegant, so you have all this water and all these little islands with all these um, poison flowers on. Um, so what I'm thinking, I put the gas mask on, and I think, oh I can just go through it um, with a gas mask uh, and set the ones around the edge off, but then I do that with the blade runners, because I think if I'm quick about this I can get it dead fast. Um, so that's what I do to get here, because there is a small delay between you setting them off and the poison being released and then out of nowhere that spider spawns in which is great but anyway um, we get past it and we eventually kill it so if you're new to this channel please consider subscribing and I'll see you all in the next video